This is a story strictly for the Mod Diaries. As you may notice, or if you've seen my other video, I got my conch pierced. Conch piercing! Conch piercing! Conch piercing! I did that in my other video too. If you saw it, you got the joke. If you didn't, you're stupid. I'm kidding. I'm not going to call you stupid because you didn't see my other video because my videos are lame. Anyways. Um... This is the Alex Diaries, and it should be titled so. Um, so what happened is uh, I got my industrial pierced almost a year ago. Not, not even almost a year ago. It was last December, but it rejected. The top one rejected. So um, I, I went back into the piercing studio a couple weeks ago and see what they, they could do. I wanted to get it, it redone. I wanted the industrial really bad. They said no. It's gotta, it's gotta heal because if you get it pierced now, the piercing's just gonna migrate into the old hole, hole, and you're gonna have a giant hole, and it's just gonna move around, and it's not gonna heal, and it's gonna tear, and you're gonna get two flaps in your ear, and it's gonna suck, and you're just gonna hate your life. That's what they said. Anyways, so they said if, if you pay for the jewelry, we will give you a new piercing for free. I said, okay, let's do my conch. Because before then, I had been considering getting my conch pierced. And in fact, that day, if even if I was going to get my industrial redone, I was considering getting my conch done as well. Because I wanted to get it. The reason I wanted to get it is because I wanted to stretch it. I got this piercing mostly so I could stretch it. I may also stretch my helix piercing. Anyways, back to the story. <laughs> so we went to, I just burped. We went to the studio, my mother and I, because I'm underage, so she had to sign stuff. Uh, and she got a tattoo. So I sat there and waited like half hour for her to get done with her tattoo. And the same guy's like, so you decide you want your conch piercing? I'm like, yeah, I would love to get my conch pierced. He said, you know, it's going to suck. I said, yeah. He said, well, feel how thick it is. And I bet all of you are checking it out. Feel it. Feel it right now. I don't care what you're doing. Feel it now. It's thick. It's thick, 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 thick. It's this shell part. It's super thick. Now imagine shoving a 12-gauge needle through that. Not fun. Um, because when they do cartilage piercings, they are supposed to use a needle higher than the actual gauge of the jewelry because it causes less stress. Uh, it's more comfortable with the jewelry. It doesn't rub and stuff. You know what I mean? It makes sense. So um, we go back there. And uh, I was actually pierced by an apprentice. Apprentice? Is that how you say it? Yeah. He, uh, he kind of works there, but like he's still learning. You know what an apprentice is. So uh, it, this was his first conch piercing for him to have done to someone. And kudos to him. He did a great job. But there's someone looking over his shoulder the entire time. I can understand why they did that. I mean, you know, I'm not paying for the service. So they're not going to give me awesome service. But it was still awesome service. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyways, so I sit on the chair. He cleans it out. He puts a mark. Uh, and then he puts the ring in to show me where it would be. All is going well. And then they're like, okay, now we're going to take out your industrial. And we are going to put a captive bead ring in the, in the hole that's not all effed up. So I said, okay, that's fine. This should not be painful. It was painful. They took it out. They put the, they put the ring through. And it wasn't painful at this point. But uh, for some reason, he couldn't get the stupid plier opening plier things to work so he was sitting there tugging and tugging and tugging and you know if you tug at something you're just waiting for it to rip that's why I was waiting with my ear I just wanted it to rip so it could be over with he just kept tugging and tugging and tugging and pushing finally it was like bleeding and I'm like oh my gosh I haven't even gotten pierced yet and I'm already bleeding it's ridiculous anyways blood everywhere they cleaned it up though he's like okay so you want to get pierced I said yes just pierce me so he says, all right, so you ready? Yes. I want you to take a deep breath. OK, 
Okay, and let it out. That's right, it crunched. It crunched. Cartilage crunches. Yeah. He shoved the needle through my ear. And all of a sudden, he gets halfway through. You can hear it crunch like an eggshell. In your ear. And it hurts. Oh my gosh, does it hurt? And he's not even all the way through. And then the other piercer guy says, Oh, you're not all the way through. Keep pushing. So he pushes one more time, and finally he's through. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. That was the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. I mean, I was gripping onto the handles of the chair, and then he couldn't get the stupid ball in again. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous amount of pain. Although it didn't bleed. It didn't bleed. That is what I'm happy about. It did not bleed. Um, but for the next few hours, it hurt. And that night at work, it hurt. And for the next week, it hurt. Not like hurt, like stinging, but like a dull pain. Like you knew it was there. Like you could just feel it. And whenever I went to bed, it hurt. And if I bent down and the ring moved, it hurt. And it was, you know, it was just ridiculous. I'm not the greatest storyteller. But anyways, I've been doing sea salt soaks. Um, it's really a pain in the butt because you got to sit there like this for five or ten minutes. And then I put tea tree oil on it uh, to get rid of the keloid that is developed on my helix piercing. Is what I believe it's a keloid. It might not be, but it seems to be going down because of the tree tea tree oil. Also, the bump on the actual he uh, conch piercing. It seems to be going down because of the tea tree oil as well. My stretch piercing is doing quite well. Um, I have silicone in there. I was too afraid to wear silicone at other points because I heard horror stories of it growing. And I'm smelling my ear teas right now, which is really gross, but I don't care. But, yeah. Um... As long as it's all healed up, your silicone will be fine. And it's neat. I'll tell you about my blowout, too. Yeah! This is a ridiculous story of a blowout. I got a blowout um, two months ago, I think. I was at 2-gauge. I'm still at 2-gauge. And uh, I have these double-flared plugs. And the flare on them is very, very thin. So when I tried putting them in the first couple of times... Uh, it just kind of, it kind of cut. It didn't really cut. It was kind of like a fingernail and just pushing and pushing and pushing. So it got really sore and it got really red, but it didn't really cut. And finally one night I just decided, just screw it. I'm just going to put it in. And it went in fine. And uh, I was very happy. I wore it for a couple months because I wanted it to heal. So I, when I took it out, it wouldn't get all left up. Unfortunately for me, um, when I tried pulling it out, the flare was too big. So I couldn't get it out, couldn't get it out. And then I made, took some Teflon tape, put it around the flare to make like a slope to get it off. And it kind of worked if, if I hadn't got a blowout. Well, it wasn't really a blowout, it, it tore. That's what it did. It pulled it through, there's blood all over the place. And that's, it was ridiculous. I somehow got a two gauge back in. Let it heal up, and now it's fine. But you can get blowouts from just about anything. It's ridiculous. So just be careful. Be careful. And take votes. Leave it in the comments. Let me know if I should go up to zero gauge. Yeah, let me know. I'm going to go up to four with my conch. Probably two with my helix if I decide to stretch it. But let me know if I should go up to zero with my lobe. Because, just keep in mind, I only have one lobe pierced. So, I'm thinking two is probably the limit. But I have a one gauge taper and a one gauge one. Zero gauge taper and a zero gauge plug. So, take a vote. And I will do it. And I will take a video of it, if you want me to. And I will also take video of me stretching helix, conch, any body modifications I do. I will take video and send it to my movement. Thank you for watching.